Is it the right time to make a move on Meta stock? Let's find out. In this video, we'll be delving deep into Meta. We've already provided you with an initial report on our website, but now we're going to give you an even more comprehensive analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and turn on notifications to stay updated on all our latest analyses. You wouldn't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Harness the power of artificial intelligence and get free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Please remember that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Starting from December 7, 2023, our system has classified Meta as a buy candidate, assigning it a score of 1.33. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this specific period. Unfortunately, the stock hasn't performed as anticipated, resulting in a loss of minus 0.40% so far. This means that on average, the stock has experienced a daily loss of minus 0.13% since it was designated as a buy candidate. The stock is currently in the midst of a strong upward trend in the short term, indicating a potential further increase. Over the next three months, there is a projected 10.63% change, with a possible return ranging from 3.66% to 18.31%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, the trend suggests a significant 152.54% change, with a potential return between 145.28% and 185.86%. This would result in a price range of $797.86 to $929.85 after one year. Here is the latest update on Meta, the stock price ended at $325.28 on Monday, experiencing a loss of 2.24%. On Monday, the Meta stock price decreased by 2.24% from $332.75 to $325.28. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated between a low of $320 and a high of $329.89, showing a 3.09% variation. Over the last 10 days, the stock price has fallen in 7 instances, resulting in a total decline of 2.81%. Although volume increased by 14 million shares on the last day, this occurred alongside falling prices. This situation may serve as an early warning, indicating a slight increase in risk over the next few days. In total, approximately $8.28 billion worth of shares were bought and sold, with a total of 25 million shares traded. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price recorded was $342.92, while the lowest price was $112.46. Currently, the stock price is 5.14%, or $17.64, below the 52-week high. Furthermore, it is 15.36%, or $59.05, below the all-time high, which was reached on September 1, 2021, at $384.33. Today, let's take a look at the latest analyst ratings for Meta. Starting with B, Riley Securities, on Monday, November 20, 2023, they gave Meta a neutral grade with a hold action. Next up, we have Wedbush, who also reported on Monday, November 20, 2023. They gave Meta an outperform grade with a hold action. Wells Fargo also provided their rating for Meta on the same day. They gave it an equal weight grade with a hold action. Now, let's move on to the ratings from Thursday, October 26, 2023. Goldman Sachs gave Meta a buy grade with a hold action. Lastly, KeyBank gave Meta an overweight grade with a hold action on the same day. Analysts have given the stock of Meta a general buy rating. They highly recommend the P-E ratio as a strong buy and the price to book ratio as strong buy. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have a more neutral outlook on the stock. Today, let's take a look at the signals identified for Meta stock. The stock has shown mixed signals recently. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, November 22, 2023, resulting in a 4.75% decrease in its value. 
Experts suggest that the stock may continue to fall until a new bottom pivot is found. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. It's worth noting that volume rose on falling prices yesterday, which could be an early warning sign that the stock requires closer monitoring. On a positive note, the meta stock has buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a favorable forecast. Furthermore, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals, with the short-term average positioned above the long-term average. In case of corrections downward, the stock is expected to find support at $323.60 and $322.24. However, if the stock breaks below any of these levels, it would issue sell signals. Here are some other signals that you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence is currently indicating a sell signal. Pivots are also showing a sell signal, which occurred 13 days ago. On the other hand, Bollinger is suggesting a buy signal that was observed 19 days ago. The short-term moving average is indicating a buy signal that was identified 4 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average is also indicating a buy signal that occurred 4 days ago. Furthermore, the relation between the short and long moving averages suggests a buy signal that was observed 25 days ago. If we analyze the 12-month chart, we can see that the short moving average is indicating a buy signal that was observed 3 days ago. Additionally, the long-term moving average is suggesting a buy signal that occurred 31 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages further supports a buy signal that was observed 225 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Meta Let's talk about the support levels for Meta. Currently, the stock finds support just below today's level at $299.53 and $297.74. When a stock is testing a support level, there's always a natural risk involved. If the support level is broken, the stock may fall to the next support level. In this case, if the support at $299.53 is broken, the next support from accumulated volume will be at $297.74 and $288.35. Meta is a stock that is usually traded at a good volume with minor daily changes, which means the risk is considered to be low. In the last day, the stock moved $9.89, 3.09%, between its high and low points. Looking at the past week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 2.65%. Let's begin by discussing some important fundamental data before we explore potential good trading levels for Meta. One key metric to consider is the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. Meta has a relatively normal P-E ratio, which is often observed in businesses with established track records or predictable revenues. Moving on, the upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for February 07, 2024. It's an important date to keep in mind. Analysts' consensus estimates for this report are at $4.75. These numbers can significantly impact the stock prices, so it's worth paying attention to them. Today, let's take a closer look at potential day trading levels for Meta. If we observe an upward trend, the first resistance level for Meta is at $327.15. If you're not currently holding any shares, it might be a good idea to wait for the price to surpass this level before considering a position. However, if you're already invested in the stock, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading opportunities. On the flip side, Meta encounters its initial support level at $299.53. If this support level holds, it could serve as a promising entry point with the potential for a rebound. The average rating for Meta from multiple analysts is buy. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On December 5, 2023, Jennifer Newsted sold 566 shares of Class A common stock. On December 6, 2023, Mark Zuckerberg sold 7,175 shares of Class B common stock. On December 6, 2023, Mark Zuckerberg sold 399 shares of Class A common stock.
On December 6, 2023, Mark Zuckerberg sold 1,001 shares of Class A common stock. On December 6, 2023, Mark Zuckerberg sold 1,099 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is calculated to be negative with a ratio of minus 70.424. In total, insiders purchased 28,700 shares and sold 169,311 shares in the last 100 trades. For this stock, we recommend setting your stop loss at $312.27, which is a decrease of 4%. This particular stock experiences minimal daily fluctuations, which translates to lower risk for investors. Additionally, we have identified a sell signal from a pivot top that occurred 12 days ago. Is Meta stock a good buy? Based on our analysis of short-term signals and the overall positive trend, we believe that there is a favorable buying opportunity for Meta stock in the near future. However, it's important to note that our systems have detected an overvaluation in the current price, based on the volatility and movements observed during the last trading day. Looking ahead to Tuesday, December 12, we anticipate that Meta stock will open with a decrease of Dash dollar 0.225, starting at $325.06. Before we begin, it's crucial to understand that trading comes with a high risk of financial loss. Always consult a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be your sole basis for investment choices. By using the information provided, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we want to share our current view on this stock. We value your opinion, so please comment below and let us know if you agree or disagree. We're also curious about your target price for this stock. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more trading insights. We wish you all successful trading and hope you have a beautiful day. Regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.